Well, I'm attempting to make my own intake manifold for my sand rail. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but it's something I've always wanted to do, and I'm going to do it. So the original intake, which is a truck intake, this guy right here, somewhere around here. So these are, there it is. These are actually really good intakes. And I seriously doubt that I can improve on GM's design, but what the heck. I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. So I'm going to walk you through how I'm going to make it and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I started off by buying these billet aluminum I guess intake flanges. I could have made them, but it's not really worth it. These things are absolutely perfect. They're all matched in here. They fit perfect. They're CNC, so they're guaranteed to be straight and equal and just really nice. So bolted those on for my original mock-up and then started to work on the design for the intake runners. So after I came up with my original kind of length and shape, I made a pattern out of this one so that I could use my plasma cutter to cut out all of these. So I ended up making 16 of these clamped them all together, ground them down so they're all 100% matching. And then I had to make 16 strips of different lengths. Long one for the outside of the runner, short ones for the inside of the runner. And then I have to put all this together. And that's what these are. So pretty simple how to bend these up. So bent those up by hand, put them on the vise, straighten them out, weld all that together, and then take one of these. Sets on top, weld that together, sand it, grind it, weld it, clean it, and that's one of the intake runners. And through the magic of TV, voila, have one finished up. Intake runner, not too shabby. Need practice, but I'm doing eight of them, so apparently that's going to be some pretty good practice. So that's what the intake runners look like. And then this is how they're going to look on the manifold. So eight runners, obviously welded into each one of these slots right here. And crisscross in the middle so this part right here is actually going to be angled probably a little bit more I got to figure out how big I want the plenum but the plenum is going to sit right in between here like a little V going down and then put a cap on top of it and then cap the back of it and make my throttle throttle body adapter hook up on the front and the throttle body is this little gorgeous piece right here bought off of eBay so that's gonna sit there after I make the manifold and get all the flanges done and I will have a manifold so I was looking at the short runner intake sheet metal manifolds that they have you can get some pretty cheap ones from china and all that stuff they have very expensive ones 
um, pretty reasonably priced ones. And after doing some research, um, yeah, you only lose about 100 foot-pounds of torque when you put those on your car. So that's no good. Really wanted to build one of these, but yeah, I'm not going to lose 50 foot-pounds of torque. 50 to 100, it <clears throat> depends on the manifold, but the short runners, they don't work. They're good for top end, they're not good for mid-range. So that's how I came up with this design. Uh, it's a little bit closer to GM's design. Longer runners give you better torque, better mid-range, which is what I need. So like I said, I doubt I'm going to improve on GM's uh, design, but what the heck. It's going to be cool. It's going to look neat. If it doesn't work, then make a nice trophy. So I'll keep you up to date when I make some more of these runners and get them all put together and show you the finished product.